Deal with those, you know, brutal conditions right now in this city. We want to get to an interview with Colin Arnold, the director of Homeland Security for the city of New Orleans. Uh, Mr. Arnold, can you hear us? I can. Hey, Lee. Hey, Meg. Hi. Hey. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, you know, just in the last couple of minutes here, as we were preparing for this interview with you, our news director handed us an update from the Sewage and Water Board. We just want to let people know that people in New Orleans are being asked right now to conserve water because they're trying to bring the sewer system back up to full capacity. Is that unusual for something like that to happen during a hurricane? No, and it, it's, um, you know, I, I'm not the expert on this, but I just spoke with Sewage and Water Board. It's, it's really an issue of power outages. We're looking at about 30,000 customers without power in the parish right now, uh, you know, and that's obviously residential, but that also includes, you know, a lot of the sewer lift stations, particularly as you get towards New Orleans East, away from the core of the city. And um, when those sewer lift stations shut down, um, there's generators hooked to them. As soon as the weather uh, starts to improve, which, uh, you know, we're seeing the same thing as Bruce, probably within about 45 minutes to an hour, once those winds are able to kind of come down a little bit, they can start getting out to those sewer lift stations, turning on the generators, because a lot of them are manually operated because they're trailers, and uh, get those going. And so I, I think that this is a, a temporary uh, type situation. I believe Jefferson Parish is, is experiencing some of the same thing. I don't think it's unusual. I think we caught the, the full brunt of the front end of this storm and um, all things considered, I know that there's water on the streets right now. We don't have a whole lot of reports, but that doesn't surprise me either because I think people are staying inside, which I would continue to encourage. And they're not out there driving around. Um, you know, that you just saw that flash flood emergency came out. Um, that is a, a culmination of, you know, anywhere between three and six inches of rain around the city. And, and the whole metro area is experiencing this. So all things considered, I think we're holding up pretty well right now. Uh, just bear with uh, everything that's going on. Have some patience. And I think that it appears that the backside of this storm kind of has fallen apart. And I think we're going to get out of this, you know, maybe within an hour. I still think the winds are going to be gusty and strong, but... As far as rainfall goes, I think we're, we're coming towards the end of it. And, and I know, look, the, the sewage and water board is, is separate from the city, but I just want to clarify, make sure you were briefed by the sewage and water board on this and what you told us uh, you got from them in that it should be, they got to wait till they get out there and, and start those generators and, that, and then it should be um, back up and running. And it should start to clear up, yes, sir. And, and that's what I, I called as soon as I got the notification about it, just to kind of go over uh, what it meant. Are you hearing any reports of any other damage? I mean, I know you said there is some water on streets right now, but any damage from these high winds we've been having? Uh, I, I haven't heard anything. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, obviously with the amount of, um, uh, with 30,000 power outages, I'm sure we're going to be looking at uh, a lot of debris mm -hmm. and, um, and tree uh, vegetative uh, vegetation in the streets, uh, debris and and tree limbs and, and the like, but we'll be getting out as soon as we can. Uh, you know, once the winds start coming down, they, they're, they're itching to get out there and start cleaning up. So, you know, but as far as structural in, uh, damage, roof damage, um, we're going to have to wait for daylight to start getting out there and looking at that. And I would again, use this opportunity to caution the public, like even if the rain stops and it's still a little gusty, just give it until morning light and and to go out there and do anything unless it's an emergency. Um, I thought I saw that on, on social media somewhere there may be an issue with AT&T and people calling the 911 call system. So that, 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 that is too, an right? issue. We are sending out some NOLA ready alerts on that. Um, for any of the public out there, if you are an AT&T or T-Mobile yeah. customer, what we understand right now is that um, it's a situation on their end. It's not anything to do with the Orleans Parish Communications District. Uh, but there is a backup number, and let me get that for you. This is important. So, 504 yeah, 671 3600. If you can't give get it, the give it one more time, Colin, can you give it one more time? Yeah, sorry, 504 671 3600. That is a backup landline to, um, to 911. Uh, that's the same as calling 911 right now. It, like, if your phone goes through with 911, stay on the line because mm -hmm. you're in the queue. But if, for, if you're a customer of AT&T and T-Mobile, from what we're hearing at this point, and again, uh, from my understanding is it's not on, on, I'll say, our end. It's on the, the cell carrier's end that they're 
something they're dealing with. You kind of hit, I mean, you were pretty strong in that. You, you feel like we're in pretty good shape considering we have a, a Cat 1 storm, uh, you know, going over the city right now. I, I feel pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, in the blind like the rest of us probably are right now, but um, just looking at all of the, the data that we can get up here and as far as rainfall rates and things like that, you know, I, I understand we'll have some street flooding out there, but, you know, just um, everyone be patient and, um, and you know, uh, hopefully good things are going to, you know, we're going to see good things in the morning at least as far as uh, being able to get through. I mean, what I'm looking at right now is pretty much a direct hit. Uh, you know, um, I, I, I think that uh, it didn't turn the way it was anticipated. I'm just saying that at this point. But, I mean, we definitely got um, a lot of wind and rain in a, in a you know, kind of a short period of time we went through this. So, And, I think and our... again, it, you can see it's starting to clear, uh, it looks like, to the north. So, you know, we think about our neighbors, too. Yeah, and look, I think our meteorologists would agree with you that, you know, it was, if it not a direct hit pretty close to it. And yeah. We had the radar up just a second ago, and in, to your point about it clearing, we, we have the end of this heavy rain. We'll still have some winds, and here's the radar back up. But you can see there yes. that the, uh, the, the, the brunt of this storm is, is going to start clearing the city um, pretty soon. Kyle Arnold, thank you for joining us. Keep us updated. Um, if you need to get back on to relay some more information, please let us know. Thank you. Will right. do. You bet. Good night. Appreciate it.